Hello, welcome back to another video. Um, thought I'd do a sales roundup. Had a few sales since yesterday, so this is just the sales from yesterday and up to today. Uh, there's quite a few. I've already packed some, so um, I'll show you up there or up there uh, what they sold for, what they look like, because they're already packaged. Um, what I bought them for, and some of them you would have seen in a previous video of me picking them up. Uh, and this is kind of what they've sold for. Some of them are pretty quick sales, some excellent sales, which I'll save the best till last. Um, we'll start off with something I've already packaged. Um, it kind of shows you how I'll package them as well. So you can have a guess what's in there. Uh, motorcycle boots, uh, I paid 15 quid. She wanted 20 for them um, a couple of weeks ago. Um, so they recently sold for 40 quid, about 9.99, free shipping. Uh, pretty quick sale, pretty nice condition, and that's how I'll package a pair of motorbike boots, um, plastic bag, eBay branded bags. Um, yeah, won't be damaged in the post or anything. Uh, pretty robust. Well, that protects your ankle, so I would expect it would be. Uh, another one I'd already packaged uh, in here is a Transylvania 3 Plus Dracula. Uh, I'll put it up there what it sold for. These are pretty good, $14.99. There's some you can get more. I think like the Mummy is worth more. Um, yeah, so have a look out for him or any other the Transylvania 3 characters. Uh, paid a 50p or a pound, can't remember too much. Um, yeah, decent plush to have. Um, <clears throat> these these are pretty battered. Um, the Crayola bands, so they're pretty rare. Uh, they've got the old Crayola, if you can see that, um, like crayons, it's laces. Um, but yeah, they did have issues. They are. They are coming away, um, but because of the rarity, um, I thought I'd still pick them up for two quid. I've never seen them, never seen a pair before. I had them on for twenty nine ninety nine. Um, an offer come in of fifteen, so I took that because, yeah, they're probably worth about fifteen. I would say, so yeah, fifteen quid. From two two quid spend, not bad. I, I did say there were they did have issues in the listing, so I shouldn't have any problems with that. Sticking with the shoes, um, you would have seen me pick these up in a recent um, video. So these are Simpsons Converse. Um, paid three pound for these. Really nice condition, barely worn, and. I had them on for 50, offer coming of 35, counted with 45, and then he counted with 40. So I took that, they've only been on for a, a few days. So the quick quick sale, in and out, good money, and um, yeah, nice return on the three pound paid. Um, these ASICs, so, if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen me since I sold these for thirty nine ninety nine. Um, they went out to the guy. He's tried them on, and they're the wrong size. So, ASIC sizes—they're always US, US sizes. So you got to figure out whether these were men's or women's. Now, I mean, I, yeah, there's a bit of pink on them. It doesn't mean say the women's. But you know, I'd wear them. Turns out they are women's, and they're a women's size US nine, which means they're a UK seven. So all very confusing. He sent them back. I relisted them at thirty four ninety nine, which kind of reflects the women's market. Um, that's these were about the going rate for these, um, and they sold very quick. Soon after I relisted them. Um, so yeah, happy with that. I mean, it's a learn. It's something to learn from. There is a website which gives you all the ASICs 
sizes, men's and women's, so I'll be using that from now on. So I had, next one, two broken spares and repairs iPads. Um, that was a two pound, that was three pound. And um, you kind of, I bought them thinking, well, they're gonna be broken anyway. And they were broken spares and repairs. They don't charge. They turn on, which I could show in the listing that they come on, um, but they don't really do anything else. As soon as you take it off charge, they go, they're dead. Um, I woke up this morning to um, the same guy buying both of these. So these sold for 19.98, 98 £19.98 pence. Um, so it's really good to have them to go together, save on the shipping. They really like things. Um, that one comes with its case, iPod Nano. Um, so yeah, three quid into 20. Take that all day. Um, then record sales. So Call in the Gang album. This all the singles collection that was nine ninety nine. All the big names, ladies' nights, celebration. Um, yeah, sixteen tracks for ten ninety nine. Apart, this owes me about fifty p. I'd say. I bought most of the records. I buy as a big bundle of stuff. So when you break it down, no more than a pound on some. But I won't really tend not to pay more than a pound as a bundle of records. Uh, next record that sold was a one called Matrix, Mute 98 and Convoy. Um, I haven't played this yet, so I'm not sure what it is. It's a dance record. Um, if you ever want to hear the song, or if you go over to my Instagram, Brum underscore reseller, and I always play them on my stories, so you get about a 15 second snippet of what's sold. Um, because I can't show on air because I'll get banned. But yeah, Instagram. Uh, next record that sold over the last couple of days the Bee Gees, the best of the Bee Gees, the very best of the Bee Gees. Um, so, six, uh, no, 19 Bee, Bee Gees tracks. Staying Alive, Night Fever. Um, yeah, again, not something I'd pick up in a, a car boot or a charity shop, but if it's included in a big bundle of vinyl records, I'll pat, I'll, it will just be included. So, yeah, you're, you, know, you never really think, oh, the Bee Gees is going to sell, but there's still Bee Gees fans out there. So, yeah, another good one. Yeah, this next sale, I don't actually have it in the house. It's in my um, unit. Um, you would have seen me pick this up on the, in the Studley video. Um, it was a bush radio. Remember, if you watched the video, there was a couple going over the price. Asking, they asked the guy the price. I heard him say £5. I thought, well, if they don't have it, I'll have it. Um, they kind of said, no. Nah. I walked away and I said, I'll, I'll have it if you, for a fiver. Um, yeah, so I had it on for twenty-seven ninety-nine, bit of a random amount, but that was kind of the average they were going for with best offers. Um, I had an offer of twenty-four ninety-nine, <coughs> so twenty-five quid. Accepted that. Uh, I put it up there because it's not here. So yeah, that's what it sold for. Um, so I've got to get that from the unit. Um, there was also a sale. Yeah, there was um, Alice in Wonderland, I'll put it up there, um, three tier cake set. So you put them together, put your cakes, put your sandwiches on, really nice set. Uh, that is off to going GSP. Uh, I was going to Australia, I thought I was going to Austria, yeah, Australia. So, oh. I better pack that well because although you kind of only have to get it to the GSP, you don't want to have to have any issues. So yeah, Australia, not looking forward to that. So yeah, three bone china plates and a cup. Um, well, I've done it before. I was able to get a teapot to Australia. So yeah, it shouldn't be too bad. Okay, next up, um, another plush sale. And this time it is Sully from Monsters Inc. 
paid a pound or paid, would have been about a pound for that and that sold for 19.99 so again real decent plush sale um, you can bundle the monsters ink up together get the green up the green one there's loads of different ones um, yeah not doesn't say specifically what film it's from but it's got its stamp so it's worth a little bit more um, yeah I'll be looking out for him in the future um, you kind of see these all the time but a lot of them don't have the stamp on um, so it's the stamped ones that people prefer because they collect the stamped ones uh, last but not least the daddy of plush sales this time it's Peter Rabbit Peter Rabbit um, Build-A-Bear Peter Rabbit on its foot still with its tag still with its jacket Peter Rabbit on the jacket and the, uh, the classic standard Build-A-Bear workshop so this sold for $59.99 um, really rare plush. Uh, I think it sold out pretty instantly when they released it. So it was in high demand when it first came out, and ever since then, people have always wanted to get hold of it. Uh, I paid two pounds for this at Car Boot. Um, I didn't know the value of it at the time. Uh, took a gamble, took a guess. Um, Builder Bears. Some do well, some do not so well. But especially the branded Builder Bears from. TV shows, films, um, cartoons, kids stuff, especially Pokemons, big money. Um, I didn't realise how much was work was in this until I'd uh, done the research on it. I listed it and I had a message not long after as offering me 40. So that's ringing, that's alarm bells are going now thinking well I'll hold out here because if someone's offering me 40 instantly they're already watching it, they're already on the lookout for it. So yeah um some of these surprised myself you know 60 quid for a teddy i wouldn't pay that for him um but others will and there are people out there that collect this stuff that will pay the money so yeah um 105 pounds in plush sales yeah 105 pound in plush sales just three soft toys yeah, so total sales, 14 going out the door from yesterday, 14 sales. Um, there is £338 worth of items going out. Um, so yeah, after a bit of a dip from going on to manage payments, it's kind of to be expected because the amount of work that's going on behind the scenes, I had a feeling that they would sort of hide the listings while they're doing the work and then put the listings back on. That process seems to have happened for me now. So I did go through a little bit of a dive. Um, my performance, you had a 44 pound day on Monday, uh, which is kind of low for me. Um, lowest this month, um, the second lowest was 54 pound. That was back on the end of July, 26th of July. Um, so yeah, there was a, there was a noticeable decline but now it seems to be back on track with what I would usually be getting so yeah just go on to manage payments get through it you'll get out the other side and um, hopefully there'll be more sales because of it because there'll be more um, ways to pay more options to pay with Google Pay being added um, yeah so thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed my um, little friend that's came to help me today um, this is my model, models all my clothes. Um, say hello. No. No, uh, sorry about that. Don't work with skeletons either. So yeah, thanks for watching. If you like the content, give us a subscribe, give us a like, um, throw a comment in there if you want. Um, I'll put all my sales on um, Instagram, brum underscore reseller. There's a few sales that I haven't put on Instagram, so this is kind of an exclusive to YouTube, so um, <laughs> you should be, uh, yeah. thanks for watching anyway. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. 
uh, there'll be only one car boot video this week, uh, Sunday. Um, yeah, can't make the Saturday one. So hopefully the weather's alright because it hasn't been too great uh, the last couple of days. Uh, 